So I was just sitting down having a think. And I need to get some sausages. So I think I'll pop down to Trioki, down to Cyril Morris, the butcher. Get some sausages, maybe a bit of chicken for tomorrow. And I seem to remember that when I came through the village back in December on that bus, just when I came to have a look at the place, I seem to remember that where the old electrician shop was, Phil Jones, I think his name was, I seem to have a memory that is now a bike shop. And as many of you have said, I need to get a helmet if I'm going to be cycling around, especially on these power-assisted bikes. So I'm thinking today will be sausages, chicken and a cycling helmet. I've got no idea how much they cost. So let's go to Trioki. Nice to see spring is here. So I wonder if it's open then. Here we are, the Ronda Cycle Shop. This used to be a, a TV shop at one point. So here we are. I've just been advised, which we all knew, I've got a big head. So I need to have something like that. That's a good price, 40 pound. So I'm gonna have that in black, but that means I need to come back in next week. But yes, last time I was in here, they sold TVs. Phil Jones, I think it was. So it's gone back to its original roots then. Yeah. Right, so I'll be back down next week to get that. Maybe I'll cycle down to get it. <laughs> Thought, seeing as I'm here, I haven't had any breakfast today. So I may pop into the cafe on the way to the butchers. The weather's been all over the shop today. We started off with fantastic sunshine, then it just rained, and now it's sort of sunny, but it's a bit colder. I just want to thank Pamela for sending me two woolly hats. What I like about them is when you put them on, there's a bit of give in the back. And I quite like that, because then I can do like a fisherman's hat and do it up twice. These will become very handy on the allotment because, like I said, summer's not come in just yet. So thanks very much to Pamela. Now, if only I had a pair of socks, I would be very well off. And thanks to Marlene, Marlene, for sending me some socks where apparently from the sale of these socks, it's gone to help wolves, I think in Scotland and also a birthday card. Thank you very much. So I've got some Amazon orders. What would I do without old Amazon? I'm thinking I may do my butter today. What's this I've bought? Ah, right, I know what these are. Oh, also, don't want to forget about these. Thanks very much to Jay Walker for sending me some gloves. Now, even though I've got a pair of gloves, I don't think you can have too many. So I'll use these once my other ones are shot to bits. What's this I've bought? I've got a small scissors this time after you all complained. I was taking an age to open my parcels. Ah, I remember now. This is something I've bought, which can be used either on the gym or on the allotment. It's one of my bugbears of allotment life is. People tend to forget there are other people there. And they have their radios on blasting. So I decided I was not going to be that person. So I've bought myself some headphones. 
I haven't had head headphones for years. I usually have the buds that go in, but I thought I would get some that completely cover the ears. Oh, and I can just about hear myself, so I think these are the noise cancelling ones as well. There's no cord. I should be able to fit them up to my phone. Apparently, they are ones that are specially designed for going to the gym. It's something to do with the sweat, and I uh, better take them off, because that sounds a bit weird. But look, I quite like the design of them. Very nice. I can use them to edit my videos as well. Right, instructions. Okay, let's just put them in to the cupboard. What I'm doing is I'm putting my instructions and things into this cupboard. They stay there for about a month and then they get filed away in a big box. What's this now? A few people said to me that you didn't get the notifications when I did the live broadcast the other day. That is because you must have the notification button switched on in order to be told about it. So if you haven't got the notifications on, just follow like I'm showing you on the screen here. And then in theory, you should get told. Although to be honest, I don't know what's going on. I'm subscribed to a channel and I thought he'd stopped, but apparently he's still been putting up his videos. But I only got a notification yesterday for the first time in about six months. Ah. This is my supply of toilet roll. Look at that. That's enough to get me through a month and a bit. So I've set up one of these subscriptions, which I've never done before, where you can... So if I forget to buy some, there's four, 45 rolls here, which is more than enough. But if I forget to buy some, they'll turn up automatically. I, I've set it for every month which might be a bit too much, but I will be taking some to the allotment as well to keep in my makeshift compost toilet that I'm going to make there. So I think I'm all set for the invasion. <laughs> At some time, I will have to spend time sorting out the kutch under the stairs here. That's what we call it in Wales, the kutch because it's getting a bit busy in here and I need to rearrange things. Although there is a big box of my tools and my broomstick, so they can go up to the allotment shed in a few weeks once that's built. But yes, it doesn't take long, does it, to fill up these spaces? I am pleased to report that my shower has been fixed. All it needed was a new box. So it's give it a pull. So I look forward to a shower, but first butter. That's a thought that's just crossed my mind as I make a cup of tea. You never saw the Waltons make their own butter, do you? I don't remember. And I've got the entire nine years series on YouTube. I paid for it. But no, I don't remember Grandma Walton ever making her butter. So let us have a go then. This could be a disaster or it could be glorious. I bought one of these Kilner machines. And from what I understand, you need double cream, as we call it in Wales. And it's been out of the fridge since last night because I understand it needs room temperature. So. Let me just put it down here so I don't make a mess. So I've set the alarm because we need to do this apparently for 10 minutes. Now I'd be very interested to hear if anybody else does their own butter. I know a lot of people make their own bread, but what else is there that we can do? Butter, bread, HP sauce. Is there something that you do for your 
homestead for your house, don't you think I could do as well? Now I know people will say, what's the point? But if I can get some cream from a local farmer, then you can't get more organic than this, can you? And I'm guessing you could probably freeze some. Well, I've never done this before, but it feels like it could be at the right point. Let me have a quick look at my clock, which says two minutes left, so come on. My alarm's gone off, so now we need a little cup because I need to divide the butter from the buttermilk. So let me just push that down. Oh, I was te tempted to try a bit now, but Let's go through the process. So I'll get every last bit off. Right, pop that in the sink. Right, now need to drain off the buttermilk. Look how beautiful that looks. which apparently is very good for pancakes. Now, I can't work out whether the big glo globules is the butter going in. Right, come back and have a closer look at this. So there's the buttermilk in there. Pop that to one side. Now, from what I understand, it's going to get a bit messy. There it is in there. And I should have proper paddles, but I don't. But if I really go into this, then I will buy some butter paddles, I think they're called. Right, I've just missed out a step there. I was just reading the book again, and apparently you're supposed to put all of this into ice cold water. Okay, this is where we might actually lose it and give up. <laughs> this is supposed to be a bit, and then it says you paddle it together. But that doesn't. Okay. This is where you can teach me where I've gone wrong. It says squ squeeze out the buttermilk and then once you've squeezed the buttermilk out you then use the paddles to put it into a shape. Is that right? Any butter, butter makers there? 
Right, let us put, let us get a small plate. And then we'll pop it onto a plate. Like so. There you go. My first attempt at making butter. So there we go. Between you and me, it looks like cream. And it tastes like cream. So maybe I should have churned it for a bit longer. I'd be interested to read the comments on this one. Well, I'm not going to let it go to waste. You can still eat it. But that's certainly not butter. Maybe I could come up with a brand. That's certainly not butter. <laughs> right, I'm going to lick this bowl and have a nice cup of tea. So I'll catch up with you in a moment. I've been having to think about the layout of the kitchen and what's inspired me to do this? Well, it's a beautiful blue sky day. So I'm thinking about getting at some point in the future a either a chest freezer or just a freezer that will open out. I've got a really small space to fit it so I need to measure that but then the problem is, because I do use the freezer more than I use the fridge, the problem is then, where do I then put the fridge? So I was going to sell my fridge and buy a new one. But I'm thinking, because I've been seduced by those ones that look like wine chillers, you know, with the door in it. But I'm thinking, Maybe I can lift it and put it here. Now I've worked out the, the height and it will just about fit. But it might be one of these scenarios where I'll do all this and it will look awful and then I'll put it back again. But if you don't give it a go, then you'll never know. Plus, gives me an opportunity to just run a duster over the top here because having vegetables and fruit it has little bits of fallen down it might just be a bit too much there we go right Give me a hand to lift this fridge, won't you? which is here, the battery attached to the back. Right, well that, it produced quite a bit of water. Now, I'm not going to switch it on yet. I think I've heard something that you need to leave it for a bit. And there's a bit of space at the back. I'm pleased that it does fit in here. I thought it might not have. And that is not as high up as I thought it could have been. What do you think of that then? Well, the fridge is there. That feels a lot better. Oh, I've lost the lid to my milk.
Right, switched it back on. What do you think to that? Let me just get a cloth and wipe up this water. Oh, it's not ideal, I grant you. And then, where does this go? Could that go there? Oh, that feels too much, that does. Does it go around? No, that won't fit. So maybe this will have to go somewhere else. So that can still go there. I know a lot of people said I can put my dishes on that side, but for some reason I just prefer them on this side. And then we can use this as a notice board. So if any of you send me any pictures or postcards when you go on holiday, we can start to put them up here. So send some stuff in, some pictures of your back garden or something. My address is in the comments box, is in the description below the post office box. And then we can still have the stickers on that side. I quite like that. And there's still space on top to put something. Just turn the wheel a bit. Stop it from moving and open the door to work out the distance. There you go. Still need to find a space to put my utensils. I'm thinking probably here will be a good idea. Yeah, there. All my life seems to be moving one thing from one side to the other. They're moving them back a few months later. Right there, my potatoes. They can go down the allotment at some point. But will this look any good up here? Having the clothes out, it is filling the kitchen with a beautiful red aura. Ah, just one thing. A few of you have mentioned bits of damp, and I have ordered some vinegar. Somebody's given me a suggestion to get some vinegar. Uh, I th I'm going to have to look into it. Is it, do you water the vinegar down, or do you spray it on? So that's one of my tasks to do. So this, will that look okay there? Not sure. I won't be keeping food on there. The food, the food will go in the cupboard. Or does that look better that way? There is nowhere else to put it, is there? Okay, what I'll do is I'll keep it there for the time being and then we'll see how we do as we go forward. I can still reach the plugs. Now one thing that I don't use, I'll talk about this in a future video, the bullet. One thing I don't use as much as I thought I would have used is the microwave. So I'm thinking about putting it under the stairs and then we've got a new space to work with. So let me just move this. Now what do you think to that? 
Again, I don't know what I'm going to use the space for. I have my steamer here, which I haven't used since being here, but I would like to use it more. But that table doesn't fit under there. It's just a bit too big. Look, quite a bit big. I suppose I could just leave it without putting anything there. Just because it's a space doesn't need to have... It'll take a bit of getting used to. And when I do come to use the steamer, the idea is I pull it out, use it, then after I've finished, then slide it back in. Although the bullet could, when I'm not using it, go into the cupboard. Because that's only a once a week, once a month project, that. And then the freezer, when I buy it next month, goes under there. I think it's okay. This is a lot easier on the back. Don't have to sooty down, be a lot easier to clean as well. So I might keep this, rather than get rid of this and get a new, just a fridge only. What I could do is, if all the frozen is going in there, this could be used for ice cubes and freezing my milk. Do with that idea that you mentioned the other day. As long as this bit doesn't move, because I quite like, this, quite like the setup of here, the kettle, the eggs, the butter, and the biscuit tin, which doesn't have any biscuits in at the moment. Right, I'm gonna have another cup of tea. In fact, I didn't have the cup of tea the last time, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea and just have a think. Ah, I've just had a thought. While I was stirring in my tea, pondering the existence of life on other planets, I just had it. Put that there. All right, that's not going to fit, is it? But if we move all the gubbins off, let's see if my brain wave is gonna wave me some good luck. There we go, right. Now that hasn't got a lid. So we'll have to sort that out. I'm thinking if we put the screws back in here. Now, is this a waste of time or is it going to work? Well, one of them works anyway. Like that. The plan is, what could I do with the, this other piece then? just break this down and store it. Okay, that's what I'm going to do in the meantime, is I'm just going to transfer the feet from this to the main one, and then we'll use these for something else, maybe in the shed. But I'll keep them in the house for a while until I decide. There you go. So this is what it looks like in the end. What do you think to that? I'm quite getting used to it now. It takes a while, but it's very handy now. Just get some milk out of the fridge, make a cup of tea, all sorted. Well, thanks for joining me for another video. There'll be another one along 
in a few days time. If you'd like to pop over to my Patreon or support the channel here as a channel member, then you get to see the videos a bit earlier when they're ready. So thanks again and thanks for all the birthday cards that I've had through the post and I'll share them next week. So from me until then, bye for now.